Happy April to you as we bring you an update from the City of New Hope. I am joined by the Mayor, Kathy Hempkin. Welcome, Mayor. How are you today? Hi, Dave. Other than the rain, I'm just fine. All right. Well, it's greening things up as we see behind you. Not the current picture, but it's getting there. We'll talk about <laughs> the golf course and some other things in the city in just a moment. Let's start with community development, as we always do, and talk a little bit about the single family conversion to rental. You keep an eye on this number. What is the latest you're finding out? Well, we do keep an eye on it. Well, up to date, uh, four single family homes have converted to rental and five had converted from rental back to single family. And the reason that happens is because a lot of the snowbirds rent their houses out for the winter. And so you see that going, it isn't that we've got this big crush of people buying houses and, and renting them out. We really don't. All right, let's talk about scattered site housing. A couple properties to update you on. The first one has some photos going here and it looks like things moving along. This is along Boone Place North. What's happening there? Well, this is right off of Bass Lake Road, like, like one house over. Uh, they tore down that very uh, distressed house and the lot sat there for a while. Uh, the developer finally uh, signed on that and they've got the foundation in and I understand they have a purchase agreement on the house already, and it's listed on M MLS as of the sale pending. So that house is pretty much sold before it's even built. That is amazing. Things moving along, also moving along at the 50th Avenue North Houses, and this is two properties. Give us that update. These are the two. There was one house there that, that faced uh, Boone Avenue, and it's really a double lot. And so both of these houses now... It, will face uh, 50th. So we went out to developers, a lot of developers, and we got six of them back with really good proposals. They looked at the six, they picked out four that were good. They went to visit the houses that these builders have built in other cities just to see what they, what they were doing, the quality of their work. And so now they will present two of those options to the city council, to the EDA on Monday. And we'll look at those, we'll pick the developer from one of those and then they'll start building. They think they'll start building pretty shortly. A couple other notes under community development. Let's talk a little bit about the business networking group, staying in touch with local businesses. They've got a meeting to get on your calendar in early May. What is going on there? Well, that's May 1st at two o'clock in the afternoon. It's gonna be at Herself Health. That's a new uh, health clinic for women over 65. It's at 5200 Douglas Drive. Um, it's open to the public. Our last meeting, I think we had about 30 people there, a lot of small businesses, just kind of interacting with each other. You get a lot of good information. Uh, it's okay that it's in Crystal, even though it, it is in fact the New Hope Crystal business that would be moved now. One other business update to pass along, this under permits and inspections. It sounds like things are up and running at the new bathrooms at Pub 42. They are, well, they had a remodeling uh, permit, if you will. So they moved the bathrooms over to the um, the dining side, and they're going to take all the space that those bathrooms were using uh, to do into more seating. So there's still construction going on, but the bathrooms are in and usable. All right, police department, very busy as always. Let's tell you about some of the things happening around the community. The first is Meals on Wheels. Officer Callio continues to be a favorite to being Mills to seniors. <laughs> they love him to come. So once a month we do that, uh, more if we have time to do that. Officer Callio delivered him this time and the seniors just love having him there. So all of them, uh, they also had a Cub Scout pack come in mm -hmm. and tour the police station. And you can guess which part of the police station they like the best. So the kids go downstairs. They actually look at the jails. They let them go into the jails. But, of course, they don't shut the door. The That's kids get a real big kick out of that. I think it makes a very, very deep impression on those kids to see those, those jails. So uh, the, the Officer Callio also attended the Minnesota Crime Prevention Association Board. Mm -hmm. We try to keep in, involved with all of the other chiefs in the area just because we all have the same problems. We just want to know what everybody else is doing. Mm -hmm. the, the chief and Officer Callio have lunch at the Spanish Immersion School, Robbinsdale Spanish Immersion. Again, they want those kids to see them in a friendly atmosphere before or they might have an emergency. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So they keep trying to get out in the community. Went to the Hennepin County Chiefs Association meeting. Same kind of thing all over Hennepin County. 
And then um, a few of our officers and the chief went to the Ramadan dinner that was sponsored by the Somali American Police Association. So again, we're out in the community as much as we can. Just last week, the police related incidents in New Hope were 391. Mm -hmm. So the cops are really busy doing what the police do and the command staff is really busy doing what they do and that is being out in the community. Let's head over to Public Works. They are busy as well as we transition seasons here and finding some neat things to do in the community. Maybe one you wouldn't think of, of starting up some motors that don't get a lot of use. First, we've got a new slide and then testing some motors. Well, yeah, they went over to Bayesian Park and they fixed a slide that was there. So we have a bunch of equipment that we use in emergencies and hopefully we don't have to use it very often. So anything that you don't use very often, you really need to start it once in a while, make sure it's running good, uh, oil if it needs to be oiled. So that's what they were doing. If you look outside, we don't have any snow to plow. We can't, we can't cut grass because it's too wet. Mm -hmm. And so they're finding things to do around the building that, that might be needed to be done, but they just don't always have time in the middle of snow season or mowing the grass season. All right. One of the projects they'll be working on soon is a joint project with the city of Crystal. Remind us again of that road that is split down the middle that both cities are going to be working on. Well, that's Louisiana, about 32nd Avenue. So on the east side, it's Crystal. And on the west side, it's New Hope. It doesn't make sense for one city to do half the road. It really makes sense to have a joint powers agreement, and we do with Crystal. And so that road will be done. Both the city councils have approved this. So that'll the whole road, both sides will be done. And they're going to start that probably in another couple of weeks. And it should be done by the end of the fall. All right. We have some good news to pass along for travelers in and around the city of New Hope. And that deals with 169 by a popular intersection. And now you can <laughs> get on always. We can't, you know, I've been telling people, if you get into New Hope, you can't get out. Well... Now there's an escape route if you need to get out. So the, the northbound ramp going onto northbound 169 off of Bass Lake Road is now open. And how I found that is I was going on Bass Lake Road and I saw a car go down the ramp and I thought, oh my goodness, it's open. So all the equipment has been moved, it is open, but keep in mind that they're going to have to come back and fix the turf. Uh, mostly it's just mud and dirt and they'll they'll be either put sod or spray that or do something but that will be fixed i don't think they'll have to close the road down to do that okay don't know for sure but right now you can get out of new hope if you need to ah very nice thing happening all right let's go to park and rec a lot here again as the season's changed and one of the activity groups that's getting going is rev sports remind us what that is and what they do well rev sports is really a sports program that's open to everybody so a lot of times, you know, the real hardcore athletes, if you will, like the hockey players, football players, uh, they have they have a lot of sports teams. Rev Sports is really for those kids that just need a little bit of help with their sports activity. So the summer, the spring and summer programs are, are uh, baseball, t-ball, soccer, tennis, and pickleball, and all of those are open now this week. All right, get out there and sign up if you can. Something for all of us to get some exercise in the city of New Hope, no matter what the age and all sorts of activities. This is called Step To It. Again, it's coming up here in May. Remind us what that is. Well, I've been doing this for years. It's so fun. So you sign up at the website that's on showing. You sign up for that. And I'm here to tell you that Hennepin County does not use your uh, information for anything else but this program. So what happens when you sign up starting May 1st, it's May 1st to the 28th of May, you will start uh, logging your activities. Now, these activities aren't just bike riding and running and, and golfing. Right. They're things like vacuuming and washing the windows and doing laundry. So if you're doing anything that's moving, you put that in, it tells you the amount of steps that that equates to, and it kind of keeps track of how many steps you've done each day, how many steps you've done each week, each month, and there are prizes. So when you sign up, you'll sign up as part of the New Hope group. Right. And then uh, we are, well, we challenge other cities and it's based on population, mm -hmm. how many of your population sign up. And so you could be eligible to win tickets, twin tickets, or our season passes to our pool. All right. So step to it.org. Again, you see it at the bottom of the screen, make sure you get in and sign up. 
Hennepin County also helping the city out with some grants and you have put in a few applications. What are those for? Well, there's a, a music grant, music and arts. So we put in for that. And what we do with that is we use it to uh, help with the with the play performances and the, the music and the plays or the uh, movies that we show in the park. So we're waiting to hear from that. And the other grant is for a drinking fountain at the ice arena mm -hmm. where you can fill up your water bottles. Mm -hmm. So Hennepin County has these grants. We're always watching. Anytime we can get some, some money to help with some of these projects, it's really helpful. Let's hop over to the community. Jim, talk a little bit about what is happening there. And it is spring cleanup season, and there is a closet that is the target of cleaning. Is that right? Well, this closet, it's, it's at the gym, at the community gym. It's very easy to just kind of stuff stuff in there after an event of some sort. Well, pretty soon it's pretty stuffed. So once a year, they clean out the whole closet. They take everything out of there. They get rid of the stuff that's just junk. Uh, they reorganize so that they are ready for another season. So that's one of their projects that they're doing this week is emptying out. They have to wait till there's nothing planned at that gym mm -hmm. because when they start pulling this stuff out, it's a lot of stuff. It and it's all up. over everywhere. So sure. they, they, they need some time to do that, just like cleaning out your basement. All right, let's talk about the trees in the city for a moment. Again, the emerald ash borer has caused all sorts of problems, but the city responding quickly. What is the latest on the city's response? Well, we've sent out notices of the trees that have to come down, and we're also preparing the list to give to the contractor to take those trees down. Just reminding people that uh, if it's on city land, what's on that easement, the boulevard, or in the parks or in the public spaces, that's the city's responsibility to take those down. Mm -hmm. If it's on private property, that's the homeowner's responsibility. If you think you've got a tree that's close, I believe it's 15 feet from, I don't know if it's 15 feet from the curb or from the middle of the street, probably the curb. Mm -hmm. uh, the the forester will come out and he'll measure. And in fact, if it is our tree, we'll take it down. If it's not, you get to take it down. All right. Find out more information about that at newhopemn.gov, the city's website. You can also find information there about an upcoming event on May 2nd. That's fun for all of the kids. It is the Bike Rodeo. Tell us more. Well, they've been planning this for quite a while. There's four cities that are involved in this, Robbinsdale, Crystal, New Hope, and Golden Valley. And the bike rodeo moves from one city to the other. But if it's in another city other than New Hope, that doesn't mean that New Hope kids can't go to that bike rodeo. Mm -hmm. So that is from 6 to 8 on the 2nd of May, and it will be at Lakeview Park in Robbinsdale. Okay. And it's free. Great. Hope people can get out and enjoy that activity. To the golf course we go, and the weather was so nice end of last week. I understand the mayor went out and tried a few rounds. How did it go? <laughs> I did. I played on Friday and Saturday. Sunday was kind of rained out, and here it is Monday, and it's really rained out. Mm -hmm. So the golf course is open. Um, we're hoping the rain will stop so people actually play, but, but the carts aren't being allowed out there yet. It's just too soggy. Um, it was beautiful on Friday and Saturday, so maybe it'll get nice again. But if it does look like it's clearing up, you do need to make a tea time because Friday and Saturday were booked solid. All right, and also remember you can sign up for leagues and things and also maybe get those clubs regret before the next season. To the ice arena, what is some of the activity that happens there now that the season is somewhat ending? Well, there's something called the high-performance hockey uh, and those guys had a tryout for the team last week. And then they have, this one just slays me, they have an attitude goaltending camp. I'm not sure if they're teaching goaltending or trying to change people's attitudes, but so that camp is going on this week at the ice, at the ice arena. So, you know, we painted that floor right. and we're waiting for it to cure. I said, it's got to be cured by now. Well, apparently if you put all that water to make ice on it and it's not fully cured, it starts to bubble. And so it really uh, behooves them to wait that extra few weeks to make sure it's fully cured. This is a good time because it's a shoulder season. The The summer ice isn't, isn't uh, being booked yet and the, the winter ice is done. So this mm -hmm. is a good time to do that. In the meantime, they're painting the halls and the, the locker rooms and keep them busy over there and doing whatever it is they can to keep that ice arena going. All right. And the dance program is still going on upstairs. They are busy as well. One other place in town with Park and Rec that they are looking to get the water in soon is that aquatic park. And what are they doing there? I understand still some cleanup and prep work happening. 
Well, again, at the end of the season, you just kind of shove stuff in the storage room. And now here, here it is spring and it's time to clean that out. So they're getting that all cleaned out. They're washing all the equipment. Uh, they're busy doing some ordering of, of stuff to get it uh, on the books so they can get that. If it ever quits raining, they're going to go back into the pool. They'll drain that real well. They'll go back in there and continue to recock some of those joints that are in there. And then that has to cure before they even put in water. Just a warning to people. What, what you're going to see is you're going to see them fill up the pool at one point. That doesn't mean they're open. It doesn't have the chemicals. They just get the water in there to make sure there's no leaks. Then they drain it out again. It's not really going to open until the middle of June sometime. All right. We'll keep people up to date on that. To human resources, we go. A few positions to talk about. We have activity on the accounting technician and also the maintenance worker. What has happened there? So we did, we did hire an accounting technician, and she's going to start on the 15th of April. She comes very well qualified, so we're excited to have her. Uh, they interviewed for the maintenance worker at, at uh, Public Works, and they will make that announcement, I think, this weekend. Who gets that job? Okay, very good. Let's go to a few other things that you might see on the website and other communication places around the city. The first is the curbside bulky waste cleanup. As you can tell, if you drive around the city, most of that is done now. Is that correct? It is. I'm not sure what the dates were for the people that were here. I know in my zip code, it was the 8th of April. So most of that should be done. Um, and if you still got junk laying out there and they haven't picked it up, I think if you missed your date, you're going to have to take it back in or get rid of it some other way. I do know that the Maple Grove Yard Waste site is open now, mm -hmm. so you can go there. Bring your driver's license with. That's free to get rid of your yard waste, but you have to have a driver's license to prove that you live in, in New Hope. Very good. Here's something else that comes up in April in the city of New Hope and all cities around the state is the Board of Appeal. Educate us a little bit, Mayor. What is that? Why is that important for some homeowners? Well, first of all, it's going to happen on the 11th of April from 7 o'clock at City Hall. And what that is, it's the Board of Appeals and Equalization is what it's called. If you get your tax statement and your market value is on that tax statement and you don't agree with that market value, whether you think it should be higher or lower, uh, you can do a couple things. First of all, you need to call the phone number at Hennepin County and talk to the assessors there. Um, sometimes they get it wrong. And, you know, if it's really not right or you think it's not right, you need to call them. If you're not getting what you need from Hennepin County, you can come to this Board of Appeals and Equalization on the 11th and appeal your case to the City Council. Uh, we will look at that and we'll go back to the assessor and, and talk to them if we think there's a mistake made on that. So there are ways you can, you can correct that if it looks like there's a mistake, but do know that most of the houses in New Hope have gone up substantially in market value. And that phone number to Hennepin County is on that Board of Appeal notice that you received. So make sure you take yes, a look at that. Snowplow naming. We have a lot of people in New Hope that are into this fun. What is happening with that contest? So as you know, we, we got two new snowplows. We actually got to use them when it snowed a couple few days ago. But we decided that uh, we wanted to name them. And so they put that out to the public. We've gotten 45 app or names so far. It's open until the 12th of April. And at that time, they'll go through the names. If some names are repeated more than others, they'll they'll par that down to 15. Okay. And then those 15 names on the 17th of April, you'll be able to start voting for two of those names. And the one with the most votes will be the names of our snowplows. And we'll announce that after after the 17th of April. Sometime. All right, sounds like great fun. Final note to pass along, we've been keeping you up to date on the activity around the City Academy, which is being planned. What is the latest there? I understand residents soon will be able to get signed up. They will. Citizens Academy is kind of like the Police Academy, except you're learning all about city functions and how different departments work. When you have a, a situation or a, a thought and you come into City Hall and you don't really know who to ask for, or where to go. So we have a gal that will point you in the right direction. But the Citizens Academy will actually give you some information so you know which department you need to go to for the help that you need to get. So you should be able to start signing up for that this week. So go onto the website and look under Citizens Academy and sign up for that. There's a very limited number of people that we can take. 
There you see the website, newhopeandman.gov, place to find out about that academy and much more happening in the city. Mayor, thank you as always for the update today. Enjoy your week, and we will leave people with a look at a calendar of events, some other things happening right here in the community. Take care, Mayor. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Dave. See you next week. Learn more about the connection at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.